awesome D4. Alright. Okay, so normally when a low rated player is getting creative like this, it's a great way to lose faster. So let's find out what the score is. All right, first I'm going to give a tickle to the B. Because that bishop's normally back in there. Okay. I'm heading for an ideal setup. What are you heading for? Mm-hmm. And now what? I have more guys than you do. He doesn't belong in here. He'll die. Just gonna go rook b1. Uh-huh. Oh, let's make c5 work. That is a clear indicator of I have no idea what to do. Not a good sign for my opponent. Breakthrough looks good. Let's clip there first. That's weak. Uh-huh. I don't know if that helps him or hurts him. We'll soon find out. If pawn takes queen d7. So let's get rook takes. Let's just test the position a bit. He has a knee jerk reaction like rook a3, queen takes e5. I didn't want to play rook takes e5 because queen takes f2. It's problematic. This also hits the rook. See, so he's spending a lot of time here. Uh, I don't think it's a good decision. Uh, I don't see. A justification. Well, my idea was when I did this, if he takes on f2, I'm covering the mate because I can take his rook. And he missed that. Now I got to worry about the pin, so let's go ahead and 
offer some trades. coverage with an interesting old Indian like position with a bishop outside of the chain not the worst opening I've ever seen but typically mixing and matching doesn't work very well as e4 wins 60 plus percent of the games in the database with the straightforward approach here and I mean, it's transposing back, yeah, into normal old Indian territory. I tend to be partial for these Fianchetto structures against it. And h3 was good, not h4. And b4. That makes a lot of sense. b3 was played by a nearly 2,700 feet a player. Let's go a little bit further in that game and see how he handled it out of curiosity. Yeah, just solid and then went directly after black. This looks clean. White has no trouble because he's not being attacked at all, but his attack is monstrous on the queen side. So yeah. Okay. So after bishop h5, I went with e4. And all throughout the game, I should have a pretty stable edge a3 was fine knight h4 it liked better and uh-huh f4 it liked better than my move but i'm getting the point across f4 again and i was playing for this idea i saw f4 as a natural break but i felt like i'd have more control this way and went upon B5, okay. I just felt like I needed to clip a few pieces here. B takes C5 was stronger. I guess, and th this is a key moment, because I'm up material, I'm trading down, but which bishop's better? And this is a case of this bishop is actually going to anchor my pawn structure, and with this bishop, it's keeping my king completely safe. So much better is the engine's recommendation there. Then we see something like bishop c7, queen b7, and already this is, is just getting easy. So I released the tension too early there. Um, bishop takes c5, takes, takes, and queen c3 threw away all advantage after king h7. I don't get it. Same kind of idea again. Okay. But with knight d7, I saw that I was going to be okay in this position. And after takes, that's all she wrote. And that'll do it for this one.